This is the tale of Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit with no idea of the adventures about to befall him or their consequences. My precious, it must know the way out! And the trees! In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. He lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined. But not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. The next day, Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. At dawn, we begin the quest of Lonely Mountain. We will win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain, reclaim our treasure, and have revenge. On the cursed dragon smile. King Zorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Oh. Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. Despite his fear, something awoke within Bilbo. He wanted to visit distant lands, explore caves, and carry a sword instead of a walking stick. To his own astonishment, Bilbo agreed to go. He regretted leaving home almost immediately. In the dangerous lonelands, they found themselves cold, wet, and low on food. Suddenly, Balin noticed the light of a fire. Thorin sent their new burglar, Bilbo, to investigate. When the dwarves crept up to investigate, the trolls popped them all into sacks. Suddenly, the trolls started arguing. Gandalf imitated their voices and tricked them into a nasty fight. They fought until dawn. When the sun rose, the trolls turned to stone. Soon, the company reached Rivendell, home of the elves. Elrond told them of a secret entrance to the dragon's lair, a door revealed only by the knocking of a bird called a thrush. After resting in Rivendell, they set out to cross the Misty Mountains. Evil things and dreadful dangers awaited them, like stone giants and worse. They slept soundly in a dry cave. Then, Bilbo heard a noise. In the darkness and confusion, no one saw Bilbo crack his head on a rock and fall into shadow. When he awoke, Bilbo was alone. Lost again in the tunnels, Bilbo found a gleaming golden ring. He put the mysterious ring in his pocket. Then he realized he was not alone. Bilbo introduced himself to the mysterious creature named Gollum. They agreed to play the ancient game of riddles. 
The rules were simple. If Gollum lost the game, he would show Bilbo the way out. But if Bilbo lost, Gollum would eat a tasty dinner. Soon, Bilbo couldn't think of any more riddles. <laughs> Is it scrumptious? What have, what have I got in my pocket? <laughs> Not fair! Well, that's my riddle. Hands is a knife, this string, it's or, or nothing. All wrong. Now, show me the way out. <sighs> we must go and get something first. <sighs> what have I got in my pocket? My ring! in its nasty little pockets. It must know the way out! Bilbo followed Gollum out of the cave and found his friends on the other side of the Misty Mountains. But they were not out of danger. A pack of wild wargs attacked. Thank you. 